Here we are again with the uh, Real Husbands of Atlanta. And what we got going on today is that we're actually doing a tailgate because uh, we're getting ready, as you can see, we're getting ready for the Falcons and the Denver Broncos game. And so we're not in our chef jacks today. Right now, we're actually just doing tailgating. And um, and soon you'll see, soon see that some of the things that we're going to put together today with some of the chefs that's here in the kitchen. So again, as I always say, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Tailgate. This is what we're doing now. now we normally do chefing at the dark, or chefing on a Sunday, or chefing at a holiday. This is chefing at tailgate. We went ahead and paired it down a little bit, you know, because we're in our game day gear. Uh, actually, I'm not in my game day gear. Uh, the cameraman is in his game day gear, so we represent the Dirty Birds. I got a bigger head than you, so don't worry about that right now. We got a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction. We're gonna put that back on his head. But y'all see what I'm saying, though? I ain't got no Falcons gear on per se, but I will in a, in a minute. I'm, I'm, we're doing uh, potatoes. We got brother in, brother Zimmerman over here on the potatoes. Left-handed magician right here on the chef on the chef list. So we got just, just you know just some old school campfire potatoes. We got some Yukon goals. We got the Vidalia onions. It's real simple. Come on, Derek. We gotta we gotta put something on the grill over here in a second. We got a second pot over here. We'll taste these up. I think they're done. So what you're doing is you want to make sure they're translucent. If they're not, see how that flakes right there. That's how you know they're done. You're not you're not you're not eating pasty potatoes. You're not eating. Rock crop potatoes, we're gonna go ahead on it. I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down. Oh, it's I'm not I'm not at all comfortable <laughs> with the narration of the culinary experience. I like to cook but I don't like how he turning it on as soon as you turn on the camera. It's a problem for me. So using yeah. big words like so, 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 <laughs> so, so, okay. So, 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 in, in transparency, in transparency, YouTube. I'm sorry, but one Ethan Zimmerman and one Felix Floyd were going on and on about stone ground grits. I don't, I'm pretty sure that if you go back to the tape, he is guilty. Of All right, what do you say? We don't just eat grits. Okay, you gotta do grits a certain way. I mean, most people just boil grits for 15 minutes and they're done. No, you gotta take your time with grits. You gotta take it. You don't have to be healthy with it. That's a special grit. We only eat grits once a week or once a month or whatever. Go ahead and add the fat. Two of these magic grits? We add a little cream to it, butter to it, salt That's to it. it. I'm not gonna go there. I'm right, just saying. Hit rewind. What yeah. did you just so say? So your boy <laughs> throw me under the bus talking about the potatoes and how I'm describing it, but I had to remind him y'all was just talking about stone ground grits yesterday. Oh, but I'm digging the uh, the pan fried potatoes, not deep fried potatoes, but pan fried. You see what you have here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got your oil, probably olive oil, which is better for you. Okay, we just gonna coat all the potatoes with the olive oil and just pan fry them lightly, okay? It's not deep fried, so you get inundated with a whole bunch of oil, okay? It's pan fried olive oil. Good right here. You got sauteed onions up in here with the pan fried potatoes. Nice, healthy meal for you if you want to uh, watch your weight, weight line, whatever it is, but it's good for you. Have it anytime you want to. Uh, it's not butter, it's olive oil. Better for you. Have as much as you want. All right, so nothing too fancy here. We're back on the egg. Everybody knows it's our preferred grilling method. Unless you're doing something really quick, then you can go to the gas. But if you have some time, put the charcoal on it, the wood, the wood charcoal. We've already done some chicken legs. We did some chicken wings real quick. We got some sliders. I got a, bur I got a request for a hot dog coming on. But what we're doing right now is we're doing none other than a grilled pork loin. So this is uh, kind of the filet mignon, if you will, of pork. And it's a strip of boneless deliciousness. So we're gonna grill it. We're not gonna overcook this thing. That's what happens, a lot of people, they dry it out, they dry their pork out. We talked about that in the last episode of how you wanna cook your meat 
and then you want to let it rest to the desired temperature. If you cut it, it's going to be unbelievable. So check back in a, in a few minutes and you're going to have something really, uh, really wonderful here to talk about.